Okay, now let's start chapter 3, part 2, but let's say what happened at the end of chapter 3, part 1. We know that John Manley took Black Beauty and rode Black Beauty to Dr. White's home in order to bring him to Mrs. Uh, Mr. Squire Gordon's wife because she was sick. So when they arrived there, um, Dr. White said that uh, he can come quickly with them, but the problem is that his son took his horse and he didn't have a horse now. So, uh, John Manley said he can take Black Beauty to go to save Mrs. Squire Gordon. So quickly, Dr. White took Black Beauty or rode Black Beauty to go to uh, Squire Gordon's wife. So now let's start what happened in part two. It's hard for me to describe the journey back. The doctor was heavier than Joan and not such a good rider. So Black Beauty said that it's really a difficult journey because Dr. White it was heavier than Joan Manley. I had almost no energy when we finally arrived back at Birtwick Park. And he said that when we arrived finally at Birdwick Park, I had no energy. I was really tired. The doctor ran into the house, and young Joe took me inside. All my hair was wet, and I felt so hot. So quickly, Dr. White entered uh, the house, and Joe took, do you remember Joe, the helper, the young helper for Joan Manley. Joe Green took uh, Black Beauty inside and Black Beauty's hair was wet and Black Beauty was so hot, was so hot and tired and his hair was wet. Poor Joe was young and he didn't know what to do. A horse who has just run a long way needs to stay warm and drink warm water. It's dangerous time for the horses so someone should stay and watch him too. So Joe didn't know what can he do with Black Beauty because he's too young and he didn't know. He didn't know that a horse who came from a long journey should stay warm and drink warm water, but Joe didn't understand this. Joe didn't do this. He didn't put a warm blanket on me because I was hot. And then he gave me cold water to drink. So Joe, what did Joe do? Because he didn't know what he can do, he quickly didn't put a blanket on Black Beauty as he was wet. And he gave them cold water in a state of, cold wa of warm water. Before he went away and left me alone in the stuff. And then also he didn't stay with him. He didn't stay with Black Beauty to take care of him. And he left him and went to the stuff. I began to feel very cold. So Black Beauty began to feel very cold. He was very tired. All my body ached. All my body was in pain. Ached means was in pain. I lay down and tried to sleep. When I woke up, Joan was at my side. And then he lay down and he tried to sleep. But when he woke up, who was with his side? Joan Manley, not Joe. It was difficult for me to breathe. And also Black Beauty was very tired and he couldn't take his breath. He covered me with blankets and gave me some hot water. So quickly, Joan Manley covered Black Beauty with the blankets and gave him warm water. He then stayed with me night and, night and day. So that, that's the difference between John Manley, who was old enough and has a lot of experience in dealing with horses, and Joe, who is really young and he didn't know how to deal with horses. He then stayed with me night and day. Squire Gurdon also came to see me, and also the owner, Squire Gurdon, came quickly to see Black Beauty. Poor Black Beauty. You saved my wife's life, and now you are as ill as she was. So what did Squire Gurdon say? He said to Black Beauty that he saved his wife, and now he was ill like his wife. Although I was ill, I was happy to hear that she was well again. Although Black Beauty was really ill, but he was so happy to hear that um, Squire Gurdon's wife was well again. Young Joe Green was very unhappy. He knew that... I was ill because he did the wrong things that night. And quickly, uh, young Joe was really unhappy because he knew that it's his fault that Black Beauty was sick because he didn't take care of him and he didn't give him warm water or stay beside him 
and give them give him cold water instead of warm water.